WP Data Tables Features Overview. Uh, in this tutorial, we are not going to study anything, not going to look through any step by step uh, tutorials on how to create a table or a chart. I would like to just give you a brief overview of the plugin to show you what it's capable of. So maybe if, if you're still considering, do you need to purchase it or not? Uh, I could either convince you and or explain you that maybe that's not the right tool for you. So basically, what is uh, WP Data Tables? Uh, we like to think that WP Data Tables is more than just a simple WordPress plugin because it's evolved and it's grown over this phase. Now it's not just a plugin; it's more like a system on its own. It's a tables and charts manager. You can create tables within there. You can edit tables within there. You can make this make these tables sortable, filterable, uh, paginated. You can allow your front end users to fill in these tables. Uh, also, with the same simplicity, you can create charts uh, with rendered by two powerful rendering engines, which is Google Charts and High Charts. And each of these engines has a lot of types supported overall it's like 25 different chart types uh, chart types that wp data table supports so basically whenever <clears throat> whenever you need to store table data to show table data to in integrate and to work with table data and also same stands for charts wp data tables is the tool for you so let's briefly go through the list of WP Data Tables features. First of all is of course the tables themselves. They are interactive, they are multifunctional. So if I may show you one table rendered by WP Data Tables, you see uh, even the simple table has a lot of features. You can copy, you can export to PDF, CSV, Excel. You can change the number of uh, pages shown. The table is stored on MySQL side and you can uh, sort it, you can filter it, you can search within the table. There is a number of advanced filters available. So for example, we can filter by date range. We can filter out of this table everything that lies between, let's say, 1st of July and let's say 31st of October and you see only the rows that are lying between these days are shown and this is only a one filter type uh, there are more filters you can switch pages there is also a checkbox filter so you can choose one or more countries from the uh, from the list uh, also this table is responsive so when you for example uh, resize the window you see that uh, some columns get hidden and you can expand and collapse the block to see the data which was in these columns and of course as I mentioned one of the uh, very important functions very important features of WP data tables is charts there are many types of charts support this is a Google chart this and these are high charts and this this one is in 3d it supports coloring columns it supports uh, making making tables dynamic based on dynamic placeholders so even the tables when we start uh, explaining the features of the tables even they have very very uh, quite a lot of features and you can browse through the video course or through our text documentation to see all these features so let's move on uh, as I mentioned for tables that are based on MySQL queries we have uh, server-side processing implemented so if you see uh, this table has a hundred of entries but they are stored on MySQL server and only the needed amount of records is fetched when we show the table on the front end also this I already mentioned we have charts based on Google chart and high charts libraries we have front-end editing for MySQL based tables so uh, if you have a MySQL table and would like to allow your front-end users to edit this we have this function. We have a table constructor which allows to create the table to create the tables from backend. So, uh, if you don't have any table yet, but you know the columns and the 
what kind of data you're going to store, you can just go to your WordPress admin dashboard and create your tab table completely from there and fill it in from there. And in future, if you need to update, you can update it freely or again, even make it editable from front end and let your front end users to update that. Also, editable tables can be made uh, in a way so front end users would be able to see and edit only rows uh, that are related to them. So to see and edit only their own rows. We also have all of these features covered with the video course. So if you browse through our channel or through our site, you can see the video tutorials on each of these options. Also, Table Constructor has a built-in MySQL query generator and WordPress DB query generator. So if you don't know SQL, but you would like to prepare a query to fetch the data from your MySQL DB, you can use the Table Constructor and it will prepare, try to guess the query for you. Uh, it can make an editable table out of your Excel or CSV file. It means using the Table Constructor, you can upload the table upload your Excel or CSV file and it will become editable from WordPress backend. Any table independently from the input data source can be made responsive. Uh, we have some front-end table features which I already mentioned. We can toggle print view, save to PDF, save to CSV, to Excel, copy to clipboard and some other, uh, some other features. Also uh, tables support row grouping so if, for example, many rows has, have same, same value of a certain column, they can be grouped. We have a separate video tutorial on this, so you can also look for it if you're interested. And uh, for the tables that are linked to existing data source, we support quite a lot of different uh, options. So it can be PHP serialized array, it can be a Google spreadsheet published on the web, it can be a MySQL query, it can be Excel file in any format. It can be an open office file, a CSV file, a JSON, or an XML data source. So basically anything. And all the columns in the tables are really tweakable. You can style them. You can assign different data types and different rendering rules to them. You can color them. You can assign different filters, etc. Uh, also, we have some uh, information for developers covered on, in our documentation. So the plugin is extensible and if you know some PHP, you can read through our documentation and see how, how to extend, how to use uh, WP data tables filters and hooks and front-end callbacks to customize it and to achieve maybe some functionality that isn't there yet, but you would need for your uh, specific project. So maybe that's it for the brief tutorial, for the brief feature overview, because to go into it deeper, it would take a lot of time. And we already prepared a video tutorial on each and every feature. You can go onto our site and see the video course, uh, video course menu and all the sub menus. It's all split into separate tutorials which are also grouped or you can see the text version of documentation which we try to keep always up to date and we try to keep it really really uh, detail in detail so it would be easy to understand even for users who don't maybe have so much experience with tables with wordpress and with anything related to development basically when you have wp data tables you don't need to write a single line of code you can create beautiful tables and charts with several clicks so that's it for the introduction and for the overview i hope you are interested and that you will go on further and see more of our tutorials and if you didn't purchase our plugin i really hope to see you among our clients thank you very much for watching and see you next tutorials WP Data Tables, the easiest way to render interactive editable tables on your WordPress site. Purchase WP Data Tables exclusively on Code Canyon.